Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we're going to be taking a look at my KBD-8X Mark II. In today's video we're going to be installing a new PCB with alpaca switches. And this actual keyboard in particular was one of the ones that I was looking for when I initially started trying to buy a custom keyboard simply because I'm used to the TKL such as the CM Storm Quickfire like I have here. And overall it's a pretty sturdy and heavy build with really good sounding key types. So without further ado let's get into the video. Overall, I can say that this keyboard feels and sounds amazing, and it really, really types as good as it sounds. The linear switches, which are the alpacas, are probably some of my new favorite switches, and I highly recommend checking those out if you have not tried them yet. Unfortunately, they are limited in availability, so you definitely have to be up on your game on purchasing these key switches. I believe the amount of time that I had to purchase these alpaca switches was about three minutes. I'll also put a link in the description below of all the parts and things that I use for this build, so you guys can do this exact build if you feel like it. In my opinion, this is one of the better budget builds, simply because you can get a TKL for about $300, which is pretty unheard of. I would highly recommend checking out one of these KBD fans, KBD 8X Mark II TKL or Win Keyless version as a first custom keyboard build. It sounds amazing, feels sturdy, and the weight is awesome. I did want to show you guys that I actually did end up polishing this weight on here, which in itself is a magnet for fingerprints. Overall, I do like the look of it, and I really, really think it adds my little custom bling to it. As you can see here as well, Nathan from Teja Types was nice enough to sign this keyboard for me, and uh, I'm going to cherish this thing for a long time. I really, really, really like this keyboard, and I'll definitely be keeping this one for a very long time. Well guys, that's the video today. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about this build or any questions on ways in which I built it, feel free to leave in the comments below. Also, if you like keyboard videos or tech videos, definitely consider subscribing. As always, stay awesome and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.